There's family fun for everyone at the Utica Zoo. Hi everyone, I'm Kathleen from the Utica Zoo and today I'd like to introduce you guys to Plexi. Now you might be looking at Plexi and thinking, oh wow, that's a really cool snake. But Plexi is actually not a snake at all. He is what we call a legless lizard. They also go by the name the glass lizard, or sometimes their really fancy name is the Sheltopusik. It's another name they go by. Now, glass lizards and legless lizards, these guys are very unique animals in the fact that they are a lizard without legs. And when most people see a lizard, they think that the biggest difference between a lizard and a snake is that snakes don't have legs and lizards do. So lizards are basically snakes with legs. And snakes or lizards without legs. But that is actually not true. Not having legs does not mean that an animal is a snake, as you can see. The thing that makes Plexi different from snakes, there's a couple differences, but two of the big ones is that if you take a look at his eyes, Plexi actually has eyelids, so he can open and shut his eyes. Snakes do not have eyelids. They actually have special scales that cover their eyes to protect them. And that's actually one of the reasons why our ambassador animal snakes that go out on zoomobiles with us, when they're shedding, when they're losing their skin, when they're growing, we don't take them out because they have to shed the skin over their eyes too. And that can make it very difficult for snakes to see. And sometimes that can make snakes a little bit nervous when you bring them out. So it's always really important if you have a snake at home um, or if you have a snake as a pet, not to bother them when they're shedding. Sometimes they can be a little bit more nervous around you. The other thing that makes a glass lizard different from a snake is that glass lizards actually have ear hole openings. So they have openings on the sides of their head where their ears are. Snakes, on the other hand, do not have ear openings. It doesn't mean that snakes can't hear, but snakes kind of hear a little bit differently than lizards do. Since they don't have openings in their um, sides of their heads, what they do is they actually kind of feel the vibrations that sound makes, and that's how they're able to hear. So if an animal, a big predator, is coming their way and stomping on the ground, they can feel those vibrations and know that there's something scary coming their way. There's actually some research out there thinking that because snakes don't really hear the same way that other animals do, when snakes hiss, they don't actually hiss so much at each other even if they're upset. A lot of the times they hiss only when they're threatened by a bigger animal, they're nervous about a person coming too close, which is kind of cool. Now a little bit more about our glass lizard here. Now one of the reasons why they're called the glass lizard is because their biggest defense that they can use is that if an animal grabs a hold of them on their tail, their tail can actually detach, their tail can come off. Now not all lizards can do this, but there are a lot of lizards that can. And when their tails come off, the predator kind of gets distracted by the wriggling tail and the glass lizard is able to escape. What's really cool is that Plexi actually has his original tail, which means that he's never lost his tail in his entire life. So if you take a look at him now, this is actually where his tail starts and it goes pretty much all the way down his body. So his tail is actually even longer than his body. And that's another big snake myth that comes about is that a lot of people think that snakes are pretty much all tail, but it's really the glass lizards that half their body length or sometimes even more than half their body length is their tail, which is really cool. Now, just to kind of compare what our friend Plexi looks like to some of our other lizards, we're also gonna show you a couple um, shots of our bearded dragon, Spike. And she actually looks a little bit different, but you can kind of see too, there's her ear holes. You can see that her eyes can open and close with those um, uh, eyelids. So that's kind of what makes her a little bit different, even though she has legs um, and Plexi does not. Well, thank you guys for joining us to learn more about our glass lizard, Plexi. Be sure to check out our website at uticazoo.org slash kazoo for some fun lizard activities and a lot more activities about other reptiles and frogs and other kinds of animals that we have here at the Utica Zoo. Thanks so much.